Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy, Soulless of the Job It Says Podcast, and I hope all is well. <sighs> the other day, I'm hanging out with my boy, Jay Troy. Shout out to Jay Troy. Happy birthday once again, brother. And also, blessings on your baptism. I'm at his crib eating some delicious potato salad made by his auntie. Shout out to his auntie. Also, shout out to his moms for watching the podcast. Shout out to moms. And Jay Troy tells me this. He ain't feeling carrying cross. I said, ooh, hot take. You ain't feeling carrying cross? He goes, nah, I ain't really feeling dogs. And I thought to myself, I understand. So I hopped in the Ubi, a.k.a. the Uber, on my way to the crib to catch the main event of SmackDown, Tribal Chief versus Ray. And I thought to myself, carrying cross really does not belong on NXT. Now hear me out. NXT to me is the best wrestling on television. It is an overly polished, bourgeois, independent style of wrestling. And I love it. But Karen doesn't belong there. Karen belongs on the flagship roster. Shouts to Matt Speaks Wrestling for correcting me on not calling them the main roster anymore. Flagship roster, that's Raw and SmackDown. Karen really doesn't belong on NXT. He's so out of place on NXT, in my opinion. It just seems off a lot of times when he wrestles the guys, and he also is in segments with the guys. He's super talented, but his talent does not fit in this NXT universe. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. So once again, shout out to Jay Troy. Happy birthday, brother. And shout out to Matt Speaks Wrestling. We got the hands in motion. If you go with rolling, no need to focus. Traveling states and over oceans. You gotta wait till your coast chosen. Trying to have lines outside the show like every part of a laser. Is that bronze and noble?